Welcome back to Checkpoint, I'm Graham Harding. And I'm Blake Chapman. Marvel and DC, two of the best known superhero franchises have been duking it out for as long as most of us can remember. DC has timeless classics, but Marvel has more modern successes. With Endgame's release in 2019, it seems that Marvel's cinematic universe had come to a close. But nothing could be further from the truth. That's true. Spider-Man Far From Home came out very soon after Endgame, and there was a substantial amount of <coughs> dead space in between that movie and their next release. Thankfully, now Marvel has the immensely successful WandaVision out on Disney+, Plus, as well as many more shows and movies in store. Sounds like Marvel's back on its feet since the pandemic hit. How's DC doing? Uh, they've struggled a little more than Marvel, as in terms of ratings recently, but they may be cooking up something to turn that around. Ah, uh, yes. One of these somethings includes Zack Snyder's production of the Justice League, or as it is colloquially known, Snyder's Cut. An odd entry into the DC Universe, this movie will cover the same storyline as the Justice League movie made in 2017, where Steppenwolf tries to take over the world. How original of him. Well, this cut does have a couple major differences, one of which is the addition of Darkseid and Deathstroke. This will also be their entry into the cinematic universe itself, as this is the first appearance they will both have on screen, except for Deathstroke's teaser at the end of the first Justice League movie. Snyder's cut is set for release next week on March 18th, with Marvel's Black Widow being released a month later on May 7th. It would seem superhero movie production is finally back after its many setbacks. And thank goodness, I was getting tired of rewatching Endgame. So what do you think? Will Snyder's cut allow DC to pull even with Marvel? Or will they continue to make movies and shows that live up to fan expectations? Let us know in the comments down below. For all your entertainment tech and pop culture news, make sure to subscribe to Byte BSU and keep up to date with us on Checkpoint. <sighs> That's a PSA. Watch Raya. If you like Avatar The Last Airbender, you will love Raya and The Last Airbender. And Disney, if you're watching this, please make a Raya show exclusive for Disney+. Plus. I will watch it.